Hi guys, so a lot of you have been requesting this video because you have seen our new little puppy in some of my vlogs and stuff, so I figured it was finally time to do a full introduction, give you guys her story and how old she is and when we got her and everything, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Pick puppers. Oh, ouch. Let's take your collar off. Oh, you're so tired. Because I don't want to accidentally show her a dress. She just fucking flopped down on me because she's so tired. This is Evie, a baby. I love you. <laughs> she's so tired. <laughs> Oh, I know. I think she's just gonna cash cow out. <laughs> so she's gonna sit here while I talk to you guys. <laughs> so she is currently um, at her last vet appointment. She was 24 pounds. We think that she is 30 pounds now. Big girl. She was born on July 25th and we brought her home in September after she was eight weeks old. They believe that she is a Lab and Springer Spaniel mix, but I thought it'd be really fun to, once she's older, do a DNA test and do a video on that so we can see exactly what she is. I kind of think she's part Golden Retriever, but I know that she's fluffy because of the Springer Spaniel. And I think that she almost has a little bit of pit bull like features in her face and all the wrinkles in her face. We have a few clips of um, her when we picked her up as well as just over the past few months and a few little experiences that she's had. So I made a little montage collage thing for you guys to go ahead and watch to kind of see her grow. It's your new life. It's your new life with the camera. The cheeks. Sniff. Oh, she's so tired. Oh, she's so tired. Oh, she's so If you push it off, if you push it off, if you, if you push it off, no. Come on, Cinder. Thank you. 
Come on, girls. Come on. Yeah, she had six siblings and she was a rescue kind of situation. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that with you guys. Um, as you guys know, we own a Dalmatian. We did get her from a breeder and we um, chose to get another Dalmatian this year and it didn't work out unfortunately there were some health issues that weren't disclosed to us um, due to the proper testing not being done um, so he had a vision impairment and we wanted the best possible lifestyle for him um, as well as for kids and our future family so we did what we felt was right, which was to uh, rehome him to people that were educated and aware and financially stable to support any health concerns because it was kind of up in the air as to how severe it was going to be, if it was going to be full vision loss. So I did make a video on that. Um, I did. I'm bringing it up in this video if anybody wants to say anything, but. Um, I did get a lot of death threats, a lot of things saying that I don't deserve to own animals, um, things telling me I was going to go to hell, uh, to kill myself, um, that I was like a murderer, all this like really bad stuff and I don't think that some of the people knew that I already owned a Dalmatian and that I was aware of the health possibilities, um, but that we were told it was a completely healthy uh, puppy and then when we brought it home it wasn't the case. We also felt that he just didn't bond with us. Um, he felt like very independent and I feel like he attached to Cinder more than any of the people that were in my home. So we just didn't feel like it was right and we felt it was better to do it you know as he was young and not bonded to anybody and make it easier on him versus keeping him when he's older and it's a lot harder obviously to rehome older dogs versus puppies so but if that experience didn't happen um i don't think we would have evie so i'm thankful for that experience he's doing great he's happy he's He's living his life to the fullest. He has a really good owner. Everything happens for a reason. When we took him back, it was offered to us to get another puppy. And I said no because I was so emotionally, physically, mentally, like, not okay. Because it was very traumatizing. And I don't want to play victim here, but to get a puppy and bring it home and then it not work out like I never ever imagined that that would happen to me so we said no and we kind of just put on the back burner that we weren't ready for a puppy like because you know we were ready at the time but after that experience we just mentally weren't okay with it we still wanted another dog we just weren't ready for one I think two months had gone by and um I was on Facebook and somebody in my friends, um, she heard Cinder get up. It's okay, babies. It's okay. It's okay. She's taking your spot on the couch. She's taking your spot on the couch. That's what she just did. I was scrolling on Facebook and um, someone had posted these pictures of all these puppies and I was like oh my god they're so cute and I was reading the comments and people were asking you know like oh my god are they available and I like didn't even think about that so I messaged her for some more information I'm not going to disclose who she is or anything I messaged her for some information and stuff and at the time that she posted they were three weeks old and she said that um, a few of them had already been claimed but that there was four still left she sent me pictures of each one and there was two boys and two girls we just looked at the pictures and she said that they were free um, given the circumstances she said that they were free to a good home that they weren't gonna take them to the vet or anything They weren't gonna deworm them. They weren't gonna do anything like that Legitimate families that would take care of them take them to the vet 
all that stuff. I showed them to Brandon and he picked this one. She's she's literally the best dog. Like I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like it was fate and I feel like she's my best friend and Cinder and her are inseparable. They love each other. They sleep together. They are just the biggest bestest friends, biggest duo, troublemakers. And I feel like Cinder has a different bond with her than she did with the last puppy. Um, she's just kind of like let it take the wheel and she's like kind of got the mother instinct. And Cinder and her are the bestest of friends and they get along so well and it makes me so, so, so happy. When we picked her up, she was with other people. She wasn't with who I had originally spoken to. Um, I guess they weren't able to continue taking care of the puppies, so they got given to someone else, finished taking care of them before they went to a good home. I don't want to get into too many details. I'm happy that I saw that post on Facebook, and I had explained to them the situation as well with the last puppy, so that way we were transparent to make sure that she knew that, you know, it was okay with her if she felt that we were the right fit or not, and she said that we were, and... We went and picked her up with her little siblings and they were all so cute and we saw her mom and her mom is the same size as Cinder and they were all super nice, super cute, super energetic, super adorable. They said that Evie was the most cuddliest. Um, she was the cuddle bug. She always wanted to be held. She always wanted to be close to your chest. She never wanted to be uh, put down. She was the one that wanted all the affection, all the attention. She's very outgoing. She loves people. That's what they had told us when we went to go pick her up, and it is all 110% true. And she's been to all of her vet visits, so she has all of her vaccines as well as Bordetella because we do take our dogs on walks sometimes and to parks, so we want her to be safe. So she has all of her vaccines. She is not spayed. She will be getting spayed in, um, probably the springtime of next year so that's another thing that I learned with Cinder that a lot of people had told me about like uh, when to spay dogs so we got a free puppy and we love her and we're thankful for her and she's just literally the best dog and my parents always had rescues like they always just had strays they never paid for dogs or anything and everyone is so obsessed with her She's literally so hyper and she's just the sweetest dog and we love her so so much and she's spoiled and she's loved and she's cared for and she's healthy and she's trained. She knows a lot of the commands already. The only thing that she doesn't know is like come which is like really annoying when she's outside but she knows sit, lay down, kennel and to wait for her food. That was the first thing that she learned and she just wants cuddles like she's sleeping on me. it's super special that she was like a rescue type situation and that we're able to give her a good home and that nobody else was like oh free puppy and like you know got it and didn't take the responsibility but it seemed like the people that were um rehoming them were very aware of that and that they didn't want that to happen so we think that she will be the same size as cinder and she'll be a a medium-sized dog probably weigh about um, 50 pounds when she's fully grown if you guys want any updates on her let me know if you want me to do some chewy hauls with her and cinder let me know I learned a lot from our experience with the last one and reading comments and all the feedback and stuff from people I know a lot of people are pro adoption and rescue and I'm very happy that we were able to rescue our Evie here and get her, bring her home and give her a good life and get her out of that type of situation and all of her siblings have homes. I think somebody actually took two of them so that's so funny and she had an identical twin uh, brother too. Her favorite toy is a squeaky pig. It's about like this big and she loves it. She's obsessed with it and she loves to put her head on shoulders and she snorts and she's very vocal. She sounds like a grandma when she barks. She literally sounds like a grandma. It is so funny. I've never heard it before, but she has like a really weird like Huh. Yeah, she's the best. And I know that a lot of people wanted some more information on her. And so if you guys want me to do the DNA test, 
give this video a thumbs up and we'll do a DNA test when she's old enough and see what she is. And then if you guys want any videos of her and Cinder, let me know. Maybe we can do like a puppy's first Christmas because it is going to be her first Christmas. Huh, exciting stuff. Good time to come into the world, huh? You got your first Halloween, your first Thanksgiving, you got turkey, unseasoned turkey. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts. You look in your booty now. You look in your booty now. You're just all over the place. Hmm. The video's over. We're done now. You can go back to being awake. Don't fall back asleep. Evie, you are so spoiled. And so soft and fluffy. And the bestest puppy. Oh god. It smells like ass. Oh, thank you for the puppy kisses. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there's Kim. <laughs>